Hello YouTube people! Today I'm going to show you this beautiful, elegant Casio watch. Um, this is Casio MTP1200 Black Face Edition. There is also available blue face and silver face. But well, the black one looks the best in my opinion. It is a relatively small watch. It can easily be a dress watch as well if you want to. Uh, dimensions lug to lug is 42 millimeters and diameter 37 millimeters and thickness just 7.9 millimeters this is really very elegant sleek looking watch well the main feature of this watch is that it's relatively inexpensive uh, I paid 60 euros for this watch and it also comes with sapphire crystal glass and it is water resistant to five bars but knowing Casio it probably is more than that <laughs> I would have no issues swimming with this watch no worries at all because you know, you know this is Casio <laughs> all Casios have a little bit of G shocky in them, <laughs> they all tough watches, and this is quartz, of course. And being quartz is very accurate, you set it once, and you basically forget to change the time for a year. Maybe uh, I have this watch for six months now, and I only set the time once when I bought the watch, and it currently goes. Well, let me let me see. It six seconds fast. No, uh, seven seconds fast. Yeah. So well, not a bad result in six months, right? <laughs> it's ridiculously accurate, actually. Okay. Speaking about this watch, it looks absolutely wonderful. It is such a strap monster. By the way, originally it comes with this bracelet, which is not a good quality bracelet. It pulls my hair. This bracelet bracelet is bad. It bites. It looks all right, but eh, it looks very generic. Come on. If you want to dress up this watch, you can put on. I don't know some dressy looking straps but in my opinion it looks the best with these NATO straps <laughs> I'm gonna show you all of these straps how this watch looks on each of them okay <clears throat> so quickly how do I feel about this watch oh man I like this watch so much I bought it six months ago and I still like it like the first day <laughs> It is so beautiful and this sapphire crystal uh, I saw testing on YouTube on exactly this model and the guy was taking this watch and rubbing it with a piece of rock with a piece of broken brick on the face and nothing he cleaned cleanses it off and there have been, there was no scratches at all the bezel was all scratched up, but the glass was perfectly fine. So, wearing it, I feel a little bit like wearing a G-Shock of some kind. I don't really worry about this watch. I, I believe it will survive swimming, a little bit of dropping on the ground, which happens sometimes, and bumping to some corners, <laughs> to handlebars and such it will have no problem but the main future of feature of this watch is not the sapphire glass or I don't know the main feature it looks absolutely beautiful but there is a problem <clears throat> because no internet pictures can do the justice for this watch and you can't really see that in video either because you have to see it in person to truly see its proportions it looks 
I don't know. I if I would design it, I wouldn't change anything. I mean, if I could, I I wouldn't do any changes to this watch. And those hands and our indexes, they have no loom, which I like a lot. They look way more elegant without the loom. I hope this camera can focus. And uh, as you can see, the second hand hits the indexes. Well, 90% of the time I would say sometimes it, it misses a little bit, but most of the time it hits them right off. But I don't really care, honestly. It, all I care, it looks so beautiful and I feel like I almost wear a G-Shock, you know, I, I trust this watch, it gives me good vibes. <laughs> okay, so as I told you, I'm gonna show you how it looks like on different straps. So uh, that's how it looks like on this Nita nylon strap, navy blue. Look how thin it is compared to Invicta Pro Diver. This is Invicta Pro Diver behind the watch. <laughs> Look, the whole watch can hide behind the Invicta Pro Diver. <laughs> And let's compare it with uh, G-Shock Square, the size comparison, okay? The thickness. G-Shock is pretty slim watch, but this cash is just another league. Okay, so this is navy blue. Uh, let's put another strap on. Let me show you how it looks without the strap, of course. Look at this tiny piece of beauty. Okay. So, uh, this navy blue strap uh, I use the most I like how it looks like the most. The second one I used uh, quite a lot as well is this cheap eBay fake leather strap with those square metal pieces. Okay, the uh, biggest plus point of this strap is that the inside layer of the strap is very, very, very soft. And the more you wear it, the softer it gets. It, it is like, oh my god, it's so soft, so soft. So good. <laughs> okay, let's put it on the watch. So. Such a great combo, black and dark brown. Really looks very elegant. Yeah. I've cut the end of this strap so it fits me perfectly fine. Yeah, so this is the, oh, the brown, the brown strap. Uh, it looks more dressy. Okay, let's put another strap on. Okay, another one I also like quite a lot is this colorful one. It makes this watch look very casual, very sporty. Okay, let 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 me put it on my wrist. I mean, this watch is a strap monster. Any strap you put on it, it looks absolutely wonderful. I mean, it's just personal preference. What strap do you prefer? But this little piece of time, 
absolutely beautiful. I really highly recommend this watch. I mean, no pictures on the internet show you how truly beautiful it is because in most pictures it looks larger than it actually is in real life and that that size gives this watch so much elegance that tiny tiny thin body of this watch it looks very good on this one but it just I don't know it doesn't go very well with my skin color here it is yeah it looks pretty okay but I personally prefer this dark brown by the way this strap on this strap and this strap and this uh, these are all fake leather straps from eBay and they are super comfortable very durable and I paid like I don't know one euro for each of them one euro per piece <laughs> okay so next one this black strap okay let's see how black face looks on black strap so here it is okay let let me put it on my hand here it is pretty good pretty good but I don't know it lacks something not this one wait a second where is my dark brown here it is that dark brown looks a bit better okay we have reviewed dark brown black this beige and these two okay several more to go here I got how it looks like Let me put it on my hand. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Looks pretty good. You see what I mean? Any strap you put on this watch, it looks amazing. You know why? Because this watch is so simple, so elegant. It doesn't have date or day window. It doesn't have loom. Anything that's truly unnecessary, honestly. If you have watch with your, if you have a uh, phone with you. It only shows time in such an elegant way, such an elegant watch. Okay, next strap, not with this watch. If this watch had white face or something, I don't know, more playful, then yes, but it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, it's personal preference, but not my taste. So here it is. Okay, let's put another one. The brown and the middle one is white. Here it is. Okay. The ones I showed you have those square uh holsters square metal pieces okay and uh, as this watch is so thin these square ones in my opinion fit better this watch than these big rounded holsters it's just a little bit too much of material on this side yeah it's it just a little bit out of proportions but this color goes very well with black face in my opinion so here it is now another one is black is black but I haven't modified it yet that blue one I have cut the that additional piece uh, that one this piece I don't really like them so I cut them to look a little bit more simple and elegant and this black one still has that extra piece and it looks 
extra thick on my wrist. Okay, here how it looks like. Black on black. Looks fine, I guess. Looks fine. Looks very sporty. Okay, so here's that one. I'm gonna show you how it looks on the original bracelet, how it looks lo like on this chain bracelet, and also how it looks like on this uh, strap. Here it is. I believe li this looks very good, but. I don't I'm not really a fan of those two pieces straps. I much prefer these NATO straps. Uh, so but the colors go really well with this watch. It looks very good. So I have already ordered the NATO version of this strap. It hasn't arrived it hasn't arrived yet. But yeah, it looks well. You know, the main thing I don't like about uh, those two-piece straps that watch doesn't really sit on my hand very nicely. The watch sits on my hand much, much better with these single-piece straps than these two-piece straps. But this color combo looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so here is the chain bracelet. I bought it on eBay. I paid, I don't remember even um, 4 euros for this bracelet. It is super cheap, but it looks alright, you know, just for the testing purposes. I don't really like bracelets. I believe watches look a little bit too generic with bracelets, but it was pretty good that's how it looks like on my head you know here's the problem it just I don't know it doesn't look that good on the hand when you take it off the watch embrace that looks looks good hold on the camera is focusing on my face on the bracelet it looks good yeah off my hand you see but when I put it on my hand, it just somehow, mm, I don't know, it doesn't really work for me. Not a fan of bracelets. Okay, so let's put on the original one. So here is the original bracelet. I don't like it. It looks alright, but nah, not for me, not for me. It doesn't look playful enough. It looks just so boring. I, I don't know. Something is just isn't right with those bracelets. Nah. Looks alright, but uh, not for me. Not for me. Okay, so let's put. Um, one very dressy looking uh, strap. Here it is on this leather strap. It looks very dressy, very sharp. You could easily wear it with your suit. If that's your style, this watch is also for you. 
it looks so good but in my opinion it would look better with a brown strap if you wanna wear black strap I believe it would look better with blue face it also has blue face uh, variant that is also sunburst by the way if you haven't noticed pay attention it is sunburst dial very sprinkly and shiny looks very beautiful so that's it I showed you all I wanted I highly recommend this watch I mean seriously you you, you can't go wrong with basically with any Casio honestly but this one is just so good so elegant so minimalistic and it also has sapphire five bar water resistance so you can wear it and not worry about it it's not expensive and it's very tough I, I'm never gonna sell this watch you know the thing is even if I uh, if I would lose this watch one day I would buy another one just like this one without even thinking I have done my research and I'm happy with the result this is the one I chose as my Sunday watch as my dress watch and I'm currently waiting for my G-Shock to arrive my G-Shock is gonna be my daily casual watch and this one gonna be the special one <laughs> okay that's it thanks for watching goodbye